Good morning. Look at this hot rod. So today, probably a bit of a sad day. It's probably gonna be the last video that we're gonna have with this thing. So I've gone through the list of all the stuff I wanted to kind of do. Um, today, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up under the hood some wiring. The deck lid, one of the hinge broke whoo, two years ago and I just never dealt with it. It doesn't have a key in the back. I think I got something I can make work there. Uh, we gotta clean all of our, you know, previous garbage and whatnot out of it tools crap like that um i think the only thing on the list that i'm not actually going to get taken care of is changing the windshield because i'm lazy and uh, ultimately a lot of people are interested in this car so it'll go i don't think it's going to affect the price in any way shape or form and i have the windshield for it so there you go comes with parts um yeah i think i mean everything else should be pretty slick i did a little organizing here Put this in the last video or not, but I kind of put 56 stuff, 57 stuff, 55 stuff all in there, each little bin, and that's actually more 56 stuff which got sent. So there you have it. Yeah, man, this is a good looking car. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna have some regret, but hey, bigger and better things. What can you do, right? So we'll do that. We'll go for one last ride. Actually, I gotta go and take a bunch of pictures of that 56 wagon I have. I also got that a few people interested in that one. So. I don't have any pictures of it because I'm videos is all I have. So I got to run out there, take some pictures of it, make sure it still runs and uh, maybe make a deal on that one too. It's just a uh, blowout sale, right? Let's get after it. I got out here kind of early. Um, I want to get a bunch of stuff done because there's actually someone out there. This car's getting looked at twice today. Well, possibly once. And that uh, hard top, someone's going to look at that right away in well, a couple hours. So... Let's get the trunk up. Let's see what we can get accomplished and uh, really just kind of clean this thing out and go for a drive. I think I gotta finish bolting the bumper on too. Okay, so I just peeled the deck lid right off because I didn't want it to crash on my dome. So here's what happened. This at some point, well, you can see here, now this might be easier. Um, when I bought this thing, it had no trunk hinges. So I actually welded the ends on it, just had little nubs. So, it, uh, it's like someone ripped this off, like a bear just ripped the whole deck off. It wasn't torch cut, it was like bent off, which is crazy. So I put some on. Obviously, this one had some problems. I'm going to even put this where we can see inside. Exactly where I had it, I guess. Um, it doesn't want to go all the way. I don't know if you can see in there with this little pin. This pin in there is not how it's supposed to be. So if we can bend that back, great. Or I can pull that pin out. That, that pin does actually controls the, uh, the spring. So these things have a spring that run off each other. And this one, it's, it's broke. So we only have a spring on one side anyways, which is a little goofy. You got to kind of prop it up. So if I can fight this up, oh man, look how twisted that is in there. So that's as high as it's going to go. It gets all jammed. So obviously what happened is, you know, it got jammed. I just cranked on it. It bent it. It did whatever. And then uh, I think I just unbolted it two years ago. And it was dealt with it. By dealt with it, I mean I didn't ever pop the trunk because it, you know, you gotta use a screwdriver. It's a bit of a pain, anyways. So, yeah. See so if I can get that pin out right quick, or push it in, or bend something around, or whatever. And then uh, it all goes back together. It's just kind of that simple. Just a, you know, maintenance thing. You know, your daily '57 Chevy maintenance. So, got everything kind of out. This is all bent, pin, bent. Nothing happy. I mean, it could all be fixed, but there's no spring in it anyways. And now it's happening because the structure inside got all bent. She's got a bit of a, a bit of a rough spot there. And it's actually torn and stuff, so we got to weld it too. But what I'm thinking is we heat it up with a torch, and I can get in there and bend it with uh, the pry bar. Right? What's going on here? That's weird. Am I out of gas here? Okay. Gently heat it. Don't worry, there shouldn't be any interior around here.
Gentle, gentle. You want it just hot enough that it doesn't turn into a glob. And just kind of give it a little. Oh, she might need a little more heat than that. Better. This is where a two-man team is handy. Someone else can hold the torch. So I did a little work, the camera was dead. Took a little bit of wiring out, nothing too serious. We got it all shined up inside, look at that. Haven't been vacuumed in years. Wow, wow. I know, eh? it's pretty nice. This looks like a brand new carpet. Yeah, well it is brand new. Um, and then I put, well you gotta slam doors. I, so I weld this all up, it's all kind of taken care of, ish, kind of, I don't know, might need a little a little bend in back and forth and then i put a key in the back this would have been way more convenient to do when we were on power tour needed the trunk like every other day or every three times a day <laughs> why didn't you do that oh, i was lazy how long did it take you to do three minutes oh my god cost twelve dollars <laughs> <laughs> hey it's the dd speed shop way that it is. you know what it was is uh so tri fives have a unique key they're like uh just the shape of it and I always liked the idea of having that. And then, uh, but they're a fortune. No one has them or whatever. Amazon has like, this is like your standard GM, like 70s style key. So it's kind of boring, but it works. And I think that's where we're going to go from now on. So anyways, we get to watch me wrestle, put the trunk lid on. And then, uh, oh no, do a little driving. I guess this has to be glued back on or something too. Man, this thing is kind of fighting me. Okay. Gentle. Gentle. This may be a, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe a tripod, I need your help situation. I'm already doing this. Well, I'm kind of locked into position here. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't really want to smash the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. You just kind of hold this? Yeah, oh, I did that. What have you done? I put it in front of you. Danielle. Danielle. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Okay, so just kind of hold Look this. Look at the state of you. Hold this. Okay, got it. The state of me? What does that even mean? <laughs> Handsome. Well put together. Debonair. I don't know what that means. Damn it. You know what? I don't much care for your attitude. I don't much care for your attitude. Thank you. That's what you sounded like. No, no, no. That sounded way tougher than that. I don't much care for your attitude. All right, people are tuning out now. I see it already. <laughs> Why does she have to be in the garage and pff, tell me about it if I had... <laughs> If there was someone else that would hold the trunk lid. You want to let it down just a little? Whoa, too much. Go back up. Trust me. You wouldn't. Any help is hard to find, not just good help. Any help. Any and of you lucky guys. for you, you get good and fun help. Uh, yeah. I'll just go ahead and agree to disagree. So now. This might be a little cattywampus because this is kind of bent. She's got, she's got a little schwank in her. Uh, she's not that bad. Kind of lines up. Where's the holding power, Danielle? Oh, I can only reach so can you Let it tilt down. I can only reach so high, she says. Okay. Look at that. Hang on, hang on, the other side's not done. This is definitely not even. 
What do you mean? I tried the line on this one. This side is like this. Huh? Okay. Well, we gotta adjust it maybe a little. No, it's maybe gotta, a <laughs> maybe, maybe a lot. We gotta uh, adjust her over just to scotch, but it's not bad. Very doable. So we'll mess around with that, adjust this trunk lid, and then we get to move a bunch of cars around. Fun. Okay, so it basically fits perfect. It's a little cattywampus, but works. So now we gotta move this. Hot rod. We're just all about moving 57 Chevys lately. Actually, I saw this one, the the wires got caught on something and pulled down. Whoops. So we actually have to adjust that right quick as well. Disconnect the battery. Um, can you hold? Caught in the tire because that's what they're sitting on. Can you hold this? Well, I had it zip tied at one point. I don't know why that happened. Can we get this a little, just a little more? Nope. Come on. Nope. Okay, that's kind of happy. And these probably don't want to be on the exhaust. Come on, man. It is very hard. What? What's the big deal? <laughs> okay, I got it. One handed? You had your whole body under it. Hey, yeah, because I couldn't do one handed. My other hand is filming. Must be this race scoop that's so heavy. Think it'll start? We just gotta move it over there. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Oh! What a hot rod. Oh yeah. Come on. Might be low on gas. He's stuck. What a treasure, eh? You know what it was? I bought oh, bought the trunk lid for this thing. It's the same deal. Oh yeah, we gotta do the uh, disconnect the battery right quick. And then uh, you ready to go for a ride? Six jobs you have. Hold the hood, hold the camera, hold the hood pins, don't hold talk. the deck lid. I don't mind me talk, it's only the internet men that hate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a second, I wanna run it through a quick car wash, I wanna give a quick pressure wash, get all the wax off. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> nice socks. Thanks, you bought them for me. Right from McDonald. Yeah. Okay. Sponge in here we can even use. I think it's still start. Oh, it's an LS. Oh, famous last words, Danielle. It has no soul, but it'll start. <laughs> You've been hanging around me a little bit too long, I think. Oh, there's a pick on the ground. We probably want to drive over that. That would be less good. You got a hickory edge door. Ugh. Come on. Well, we gotta slam the door. Will that drive over? Anything important? Oh, we're good then. All right, let's roll. Hey, look at this hot rod. It looks good. So we ran it through a car wash real quick. Actually, I forgot I didn't have the bumper bolted, so we had to run home right quick. That'll happen. Yeah, it's like the perfect amount of beat. Anyways, the reason we're here, oh yeah, 
It's 56. I gotta do something with this thing at some point. Actually, this is what I got a good idea for. Well, turples are still in it. Mint. Um, so a guy's actually interested in this station wagon. So I told him I would get some pictures and the old timers, eh? They, uh, I said, hey, there's a few videos on it. There's a sign there. And he says, uh, I don't YouTube. So I said, okay, <laughs> all right, sir. Allow me to get you some photographs. Well, this thing's got tilt column in it. Oh yeah, we stole the back seat out of it. Forgot about that. We got Ford truck, it's pretty nice, eh? I'm excited to get back on this, actually. I think I ordered a, uh, huh? On the Ford? Me too. Yeah, I ordered a fuel pump for it. So hopefully it can, uh... man, this thing is mint. Yeah, so we put a fuel pump in it, maybe just drive it, drive it home? We do have to get things gone. So it'd be nice if this left. So I think the black car is good as gone. At least I hope anyways. Well, kind of sad to see it go, but what can you do, am I right? Well, I guess we gotta, the paint don't like the glass. Chink. And I guess under the hood, eh, that might help. Man, this guy's got a nice railing here. It's pretty sweet. Oh, it's a bed. I always struggle with the 56 hood. What? Found it. Ooh. Bob, boom. Look at that. This thing is mint. We never drove this thing once. Not once. It's almost kind of sad. This was the entrance into my Tri-5 wagon journey. And now we're, uh, is this one latch? And now we're nomad guys. Oh. What the? Hang on. What is going on here? Oh yeah. Definitely hasn't installed itself yet. I should probably take a picture of this so I, I remember where where I'm at with this thing too. But boom, okay. Let's roll. This thing's neat, I like this. Think this one's a keeper of all the junk we have? No? What a fine truck too. Drive this you know what the problem is? I don't know where any keys are for any of these things. I never know where any of the keys are ever. Hopefully they're in the, uh, maybe we should take a couple of pictures of this too, eh? Yeah, well, keys are a real thing. We got to get the push button, uh, starts. Okay, well, let's get on the highway. I want to stop by old P Auto, get a few things, you know, do a little drive-by or something like that. I don't know. It's like sad video. Last time this thing's gonna be out. All right, we're on the way home. It's like the final drive. Yeah, we got a little, little medal for Princess Auto. We, uh, another video, I don't know when it's coming out, but I bought a English wheel. Now it's Sunday, so of course, you know, it is what it is. So a little piece of steel from uh, Princess Auto. We'll play with it a little bit. Hey, but, I guess this uh, is like our final drive. Yeah, I mean, again, the guy's coming a few hours, who's, I think, pretty serious, and I've got other offers on this thing, so it's basically, uh, yeah, she's good as gone. It's actually nice, you know, it's it's sad, but I'm ready to let it go, I guess. We've had, we were just talking about it. We've had so many memories in this car. Yeah. Like, we really got to enjoy the heck out of this car, so, like, it's so bittersweet, but, like, I'm excited that somebody else, I hope, is going to make as good of memories, if not better memories, than we got to make in this car. Plus the guy that I want to sell it to, the first guy, I have a buyback clause. <laughs> that was a big part of the deal. So I'm not getting the top dollar, but I'm getting the, the top buyback. But, uh, you know, we, yeah, we put a bunch of miles in this thing. We did power tour in it. I've driven it a lot. We, You know, it's a cool car. And what do you do? And we're in this, you know, lucky position, I should say, where we have to keep buying cars and fixing them up. And then you go from there. And I've got more cars now 
that I really ever thought I would ever have or want to have at one given time. Well, you never really thought you'd be in the position to turn into that guy that you hate. Yeah, no, I hate being that guy that has a bunch of stuff and not driving them and not selling them. And you know the vindicating part about this whole deal is all the people that were saying, oh, you buy, you know, it's junk and you're a hack. I would never buy your crap. Man, there's five people. I haven't even listed this car and there's five people that want it. So that just makes me feel like, you know what? Is it rough around the edges? Yes. But is it good bowls and a solid car? Absolutely. And that's, uh, that right there, you, everyone on the internet can tell you is junk, but if it takes one guy that gives you a pocket full of cash, that's all it takes. So at the end of the day, I guess it's uh, a life lesson. If you guys are out there and don't let whatever people say about your car, you know, ever make any sort of decisions for yourself. I mean, if you like it, who cares? Don't let it, you know, don't let it hinder you or whatnot. But yeah, no, this thing, it's the cleanest it's been since I built it two, three years ago. The most sorted, it still is an exhaust leak though. I can, I think it's this collector gasket, but I'll toss some in the trunk with the windshield for the guy if he wants it. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta find the key. I think I have one on my ring, I hope. <laughs> yeah. I love the Tri-5 Chevys because you, you don't have to lock the ignition. I just take the battery and I got a kill switch on all of them and you just do that, it's fine. But yeah, no. it's actually not that bad, it's quiet. I remember it being, it's rattly, but I remember it being louder in here with the exhaust. You remember that? Mm -mm. I remember just sailing for power tour for hours and hours and hours and it was like a little much. Kind of got tired of it as I recall, but thing runs good, lots of oil pressure. Holds sheet metal in the back. Yeah, that's the only thing I couldn't find a seat. I just had a seat bottom. We are, we're at the storage unit there, and the, that thing had a seat bottom and no top. And at home, I have a seat bottom and no top. Now, where did the seat tops go? You think there's wore out or something? Your car has a seat in it. Mm -hmm. We have a whole seat at TCS that we continue to not pick up. But that's a that's a front bench. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got to get that. I want to put that in the Nomad. I wonder what happened to all the back seats. Did yours have one from the factory or not? Or did I give you that one? And you had it wrapped. No, that one had it. I forget what all happened there. I should have checked the 56. If it had a seat, I could have robbed out of it. Eh. Whatever, I guess it's the way it's going to be. It's just a Tri-5 Chevy four-door seat. We'll be able to find them. And I can't imagine it was in any sort of nice shape. No, this one was, yeah, this one was rotten. I think, I think the whole interior, because this thing was all, remember how much moss and grossness there was in this thing when we got it? I sure do. I think that maybe it was just right down to the springs and I probably just threw it out because it was wrapped and it well, was- and then we were like, oh, we won't bother replacing it because we'll travel in this car. Yeah, all those things probably happen. Past Dan is screwing over future buyer. That's a funny one, usually it doesn't happen. Yeah, man. Honestly though, like you said, he probably wouldn't have wanted any of the seats that came with it anyway. Well, I don't think they're adding value. Not to mention they, it's not like they would have been stored nicely. They would have no. been outside and covered in a dog feet. A lot of dog feet. <laughs> yeah, so, so whatever, but yeah. yeah. Should we try and break it before I sell it? That way I can't sell it? Get a ticket in so. it maybe? One final go? I don't know. Why? A little tire scratch there, never hurt anybody. This thing actually is good with the big tires on it. I actually really like the, uh, the decals were cool or the, or the stencils were cool, don't get me wrong, but driving around with your name on the side of a car is something I also think I'm kind of growing out of. I think I like it on the, uh, the Nomad. Your kind of gasser is pretty cool. If we decide to keep that thing, I can deal with that. But I think if you actually want to daily drive something, don't put your name on it. And for the love of God, don't sell it with your name on it. People are really letting me have it on that too. Why are you taking the decals off? Oh man, you're doing something really stupid. It says DD Speed Shop on it. They're coming after me. What if they want, what if this is going to be used in a bank robbery? Could happen. It's a fast getaway, you know? Inconspicuous. Two, two seater, lots of room in the back for the money because there's no back seat if you threw it out. That is true. You know, it gets decent fuel mileage ridiculously loud, all sorts of stuff like that, but man, what a hot rod this is. All right, well, I guess we'll just kind of end it there. When we get home, we'll do a little little walk around of it, and uh, if the guy takes it or whatever, we'll let you know. Be home shortly.
Are you just going to be silent? Or? Oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear the action call. So, we move some cars around. Oh. There's a truck here. There's a truck here. I was going to put the 57 here. Do I have the keys? Oops. I do have the keys, actually. Uh, I'll move this right quick. Then we got to screw around and get the Nomad running. This is the problem with cars, is that there's just... They're everywhere. What? This truck's fantastic. Started first try. Oh. All right. Maybe we'll fix the exhaust while it's in the other garage too. Nah, we don't. Wanna... Yeah, we don't want to talk crazy or nothing. Oh, wow, this is kind of a little corroded here. You know. All the stuff there should be fine. Disconnect the battery. It's all about safety around here. DD speech up. A supercharger. She'll get up and she'll get you. Let's put one pin in for now. That's how confident I am. It's gonna start. 50-50. Oh, don't want to knock the door there. Ah. Oh, carburetor or the battery tie down. Ooh, that starter. Yeah, man. What a hot rod. Where's reversing this thing? Over and back. It's fine. She's a little temperamental. Maybe it's me. There's a chance it was me. Ugh. You know, power steering, eh? I got it, I got it. She's gonna meet me. Oh, this car's cool. Don't knock into the Bel Air. <laughs> yeah, and it's more, well, yeah, for like 60 feet. Okay, let's see if this one will go. I mean, make a ruckus. This thing, this thing is a problem. Newburn selling me that supercharger, it was not good. So let's peel this one around, and then I can uh, put air in the tire, pull that thing up, give her her final, the final count down there. We're out of here. You want to hold these again? Oh, you didn't even drop them. Think it'll start again twice in one day? Uh, Why would you jinx it? Ugh. You don't want to go for a ride? You're going to walk through the garage? Uh, Not bad. Not bad. Just a little cold. Oh, those are spare parts. See you over there. Ugh. Oh, might have bumped it. All right, we're good. See you later. steering the lack thereof Danny you can't tell but she's judging she's judging <laughs> nailed it Whew. this one 
one's hard to steer. Well, I don't think it helped if that was the question, yeah. Okay. A little disconnect though. Pin her down. Wait for the new owner. Well, well <laughs> she's basically. Yeah. Just wait for the comments of buy a farm. Why aren't you out of town yet? All those things. Ugh. What a hot rod. Back this girl into her old spot there. <laughs> oh. What? Is this another nuisance comment? Well, there we have it. So, I know a lot of people are sad to see it go, maybe, which is kind of the way it is, but I do appreciate everyone you guys for watching and giving advice and... That was like the exact position you were in when you did the, we just got back from power tour video. What's that? The car was right here and you were standing oh, yeah? outside. Yeah, it's kind of sad times, but oh well. Not much you can do about it, you can't keep them all. And for those who can, I guess you guys got more money and storage and pole barns and all that than I do. Ultimately this thing, I drove it a lot. I mean, it's by far the most miles that any car I've had, but even just driving in the winter time for a couple of years and all the, all the miles on it, I mean, it's not, not rotten out, but it definitely needs a little bit of love. And uh, you know, give him a little polish job on the next guy. I gotta think we put, Oh God, 15,000 miles on this thing or something like that, which we just did a podcast there the other day. We talked about it where it gets like 500 miles or something like as the average, what a guy puts on per year. So we put on 10 years worth of miles on this thing as far as I'm concerned and uh, enjoyed every moment yeah, of it. Almost every moment. There was a few breakdowns, <laughs> but yeah, when you put a bunch of miles on something, it's like having it for 10 years. So there you go. I feel like I've done my part. It's on to the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below, all those things, and uh, stay tuned as more things start vanishing from the DD Speed Shop. Bye.